In this video, we'll see how to run logistic regression and SVM with scikit-learn. The logistic regression class in scikit-learn is used just like the other models you've seen in the prerequisite course. First, we import logistic regression from scikit-learn. You'll notice we're importing from linear model because logistic regression is a linear classifier. More on this later. Then, we instantiate an instance of the classifier. We fit the classifier on our training set. And then we can predict, compute the score, etc. Let's try this on an example data set. In this case, the wine classification data set built into scikit-learn. We load the data set. Then, we create and fit a logistic regression object. We compute the training accuracy and see it's about 97%. Scikit-Learn's logistic regression can also output confidence scores rather than hard or definite predictions. Let's do this with the predict PRABA function and test it out on the first training example. Here, the classifier is reporting over 99% confidence for the first class and very low probabilities for the other two. As a reminder, the little e means 10 to the power of, so you should interpret that first probability as 9.9 .9 times 10 to the power of negative 1 or 0.99, or 99%. We'll discuss these probabilities more in Chapter 3. In scikit-learn, the basic SVM classifier is called Linear SVC for Linear Support Vector Classifier. The Linear SVC object works exactly the same way as logistic regression. Note that this data set has more than two classes. Scikit-learn's logistic regression and SVM implementations handle this automatically. We'll talk about how this works in Chapter 3. We can repeat these steps again for the SVC class, which fits a nonlinear SVM by default. As you can see, the classifier achieves 100% training accuracy. This could be the classifier overfitting, which is a risk we take when using more complex models like nonlinear SVM. Later in this chapter, we'll discuss what it means for a classifier to be linear or not. By the way, so far, we've used the default hyperparameters for logistic regression, linear SVC, and SVC. To remind you, a hyperparameter is a choice about the model you make before fitting to the data, and often controls the complexity of the model. If the model is too simple, it may be unable to capture the patterns in the data, leading to low training accuracy. This is called underfitting. On the other hand, if the model is too complex, it may learn the peculiarities of your particular training set, leading to lower test accuracy. This is called overfitting. This is a fundamental trade-off in machine learning. In chapters 3 and 4, we'll delve into these classifiers in more detail, so that, by the end of the course, you'll understand what many of the hyperparameters represent, how they affect this fundamental trade-off, and how to go about setting them. Now it's your turn to apply these classifiers.